Okay. In general, users in a domain can access resources in a domain. And we can set some some query permissions on that, right? We've got to permit access for them to be able to access specific resources. But in general, within the domain, the idea is that we should be able to allow users to access resources in that domain. Now, when we're working across domains in a multi-domain environment, we can... Uh, by default, we can't do that. We have to use trust relationships. Now, if I create trust relationships within a single forest, or if I create domains, let me back up. If I create domains within a single forest, like a child domain or a tree domain, when I create that domain, Active Directory will automatically create trust relationships for me. So I don't have to worry about that very often, honestly. Where I have to manually manage trust relationships is if I want to create a trust relationship, so allow users in one forest to access resources in another forest or another domain that aren't related to each other. There I have to manage trust relationships. And I can view the trust relationships that Active Directory creates for me automatically in the same place I can manage trust relationships across forests or domains that are not related to each other. So let me show you how we're going to do that. We're going to go to Tools and Active Directory Domains and Trusts. Now, I'm on a virtual environment here, so I don't have a whole bunch of devices I can do to show you this with, but I have created a child domain in a previous relationship, So when I or in a previous video. So I can show my child domain there, and that's where we go. I basically have two domains running. So I can view relationships by right-clicking on a domain and going to Properties. And here on my Trust tab, I will see my trust relationships. So here's what I've got. I have a trust relationship with Dalton.local. And this is a parent trust relationship. And notice I've got basically two of them. Domains trusted by this domain and domains at this uh, that trusts this domain. Okay, that was hard for me to get a hold of when I started looking at trust relationships. So if we think about it in terms of trusted and trusting, the trusted domain contains the users that can access or be given access. You have to still go ahead and set permissions. But they can be given access to resources in the trusting domain. So trusted contains users, trusting uh, contains the resources. So you'll see this is a two-way trust relationship because Dalton.local is both trusted, domains trusted by this uh, our relationship, and trusting, domains that trust this domain. So the other thing you'll see here is that this is a transitive trust. So a transitive trust means I trust you, you trust Bill, therefore I trust Bill. That's what a transitive trust relationship is. A non-transitive trust relationship basically says, I trust you, you trust Bill, but I don't trust Bill because trusting you isn't good enough for that. So that's a non-transitive trust relationship. Let me go ahead and cancel out of here so we can look at this from, and now we're looking at it from the child. Let me right click on Dalton, go to properties and trusts, and you'll see we are trusted and trusting of uh, child.dalton.local. It's a child rel uh, trust relationship, and it's transitive. Okay, so this lets us see the trust relationships that we have. If I click on one and click properties, it'll let me validate the trust relationship, and there's not really much I can change here because this is a uh, automatically created child domain relationship. Now, if I need to create a trust with a domain that I do not have a relationship with, then we come down here to new trust. And this is going to walk us through. I have nothing that I can actually connect to here. So I'll walk you through a few screens, but we're going to run into a hard stop here in a minute. So I'm going to click next, and then we would give it the name of the domain, forest, or realm that we wanted to trust. And then we're going to have to be able to resolve that name. And this is where we're going to run into our roadblock because I don't have another domain controller that I can go trust in a virtual environment here. So we put in the domain and then we'd specify, is this a one-way trust? Do we trust them? Do they trust us? Do we both trust each other? And is this going to be a transitive trust? 
And then when you create that trust relationship, it has to be created on both sides. So if you're doing this between domains that have no relationship to each other, you're going to have to configure one side and they're going to have to configure the other side. Once the trust relationship is up and running, then whichever the uh, trusted uh, domain, uh, domain is their users can be given permissions to access resources in the trusting domain. And we're still going to have to do it the way we would normally would, right? Add them to groups, give the groups permissions. But the trust relationship gives us the ability to do that. Okay. So key things that I want you to know taken away from this. Um, domains that are related to each other automatically have two-way transitive trusts, which means since I have a parent domain and a child domain, users in the parent domain can access resources in the child domain and vice versa. We have a trust relationship. That happens automatically. If I need to trust somebody I don't have that forest relationship with in the same forest or a child domain, tree domain, something like that, all in that one forest, if I'm trying to uh, trust somebody from outside that I do have the capability to do that by creating a trust relationship. And it can happen either at the forest level or at one of the other domain or tree levels. So it can happen anywhere. You can create your trust relationships like that if you need to. Okay, there we go. That's how we are going to create and manage trusts inside Active Directory.